Hey everybody out there, this is Seto Kaiba from your Yu-Gi-Oh! chat channel. And guys, if I seem a little winded right now, or I'm completely red in the face and out of breath, that is because I just spent the last 30 minutes of my life trying to make my intro video for the next great YouTuber competition, which most likely most of you guys saw earlier today. So that is what I've, that's why I seem like I'm all like <sighs> panning like a dog because I just spent the last 30 minutes making like 28 viewer uh, videos just to get it down to one minute and get all that information in in just one single minute. So that's why I seem really out of breath because I had to act like an auctioneer going, hey, you take $5, $10, $20, $25, $30, $50 to the man with the red hat. That's pretty much what I felt like I was doing it like an auctioneer. So let's get back on topic now about the card I was going to discuss about today. Now, a lot of you old school players will remember this card from back in the day. And some of you may still play this card. That card is Magical Cylinders. I love and hate this card still. Now, why am I bringing this old, ancient card back up from the grave and talking about it today? It's not a relevant main meta card by no means, but it is something I've noticed in my local area. At my locals and at my local college that I play Yu-Gi-Oh! and go to college for, and pretty much even my other college that I go visit some of my old friends from my community college. It seems like this card's kind of making a comeback in my area. Maybe it is. I mean, it's still a good card. It's not a great card. It's not an amazing card like it used to be. People forget that back in the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh, this card was considered super broken. It was actually limited to one. Nowadays, it's at three. And in certain decks, you have to watch out for this card, especially those rogue decks or burn type decks, indirect damage type decks. You have to watch out for this card, and it can really kill you. You can shoot yourself in the foot and kill your own self. You pretty much can go like, whoop. I'm going to punch you for 3,000 life points. Oh no, magical cylinders. I smashed myself in the face. That can happen, you know, with magical cylinders. It's still a good card. It's not a great card, though. A lot of my old school players remember this card. It was a, pretty much a staple back in the day in everybody's deck. But I noticed that a lot of my friends and people I play against, even competitive players, in one of their decks, in one or one of their decks they play, they won a magical cylinders. They run at least one Magical Cylinders. Everybody. I'm not joking. Like, everybody, at least in one of their decks, runs a Magical Cylinders. I've come to find out. It's kind of scary, and it's kind of like, huh, that's interesting. Scary in the fact that you have to watch out for that back row because it can be a Magical Cylinders. But believe me, it, it's happened to me before when I go play at my locals or something like that, or when I play at one of my colleges uh, that I go to. Uh, literally, I've had that before. Like, oh, I'm going to attack with, you know, this... 4,000 beat stick. Oh, crap. Magical cylinders. Ah! So, I mean, it happens. It, it happens to the best of us. But I just want to talk about this card. It's kind of... I'm reminiscing about this card. That's what that video is, this video is about. It's kind of... We're going to talk about power creep. You know, back in the day, this card was great. It was at one. It was at a staple in every single deck. I could pretty much say up to like 2006, 2007. This card was a staple, and it was at one for a reason. Now it's at three, and nobody really runs it except those old nostalgia people like myself. But what do you think of power creep? That's what this we're all coming back to in this video. What do you think of the power creep? As you've seen in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Look at that new broken card that came out recently. It's pretty much a rekindling for every single deck. You know what card I'm talking about. It's kind of sad to see these old cards go away. And the funny thing was, this card was Yugi, one of Yugi's trump cards in the anime show. And, you know, Dark Magician used this card against Slifer the Sky Dragon. I mean, that card was pretty much, all, anytime he had a face down, you had to watch out for this card. You knew he had Magical Cylinders face down. But, what do you think of Magical Cylinders? Do you think it's still a good card, decent card? I don't think it's like staple in any main meta deck. I think in fun decks, it's still a fun card to play. Don't get me wrong. It's still a good, decent card. I just don't think it's going to be an a meta stream, meta type deck. You know, you see top it at Nationals or YCS or something of that nature. It just brings back nostalgia for me seeing this card. And I run into a couple of my decks still because I love the card to death. Uh, but sometimes I'll be playing online and it happened to me when I was recording my Cyber Dragon videos, which you guys will see later on this week. And I saw this card activated on me, and I was just like, 
the nostalgia just came rolling back to me. And it reminded me of my childhood. <laughs> so pretty much this video, guys, is what do you think of the power creep in Yu-Gi-Oh? I know it's always going to happen. Cards are going to consistently get better and better and better and better, broken and more broken and better and better. I mean, not broken, but they're going to get better and better and better. What do you think about this in Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you think eventually it's going to plateau off? Just going to be a straight plateau? Or do you think the power creep is going to keep going on and on and on until the end of the uh, get Yu-Gi-Oh? I guess, I mean, to the end of the card game era of Yu-Gi-Oh. And what are your thoughts on Magical Cylinders? Do you still play this card? And I just want to hear if some of you guys still play Magical Cylinders. And in what deck do you play it? But till next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. I just want to talk about this old nostalgia card from back in the day. So take care, everybody. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here, guys.